Hi Gemini, welcome to your June 15th through the 31st tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the year 2018 and um, I do have private readings available. I have a new website in the description box below. If you click on shop now, they're pre-recorded readings and I upload them to YouTube unlisted, meaning you can only see them with the direct link. And then I send the direct link to you so no one can see it without that link. Um, and those are cheaper. And then I have book now. And you can book a live Skype call with me. And that's brand new. And you can book a time. And uh, we can talk live on Skype. And it does cost more to do that because it is live. Um, with the uh, shop now readings, it's usually within 48 hours. With the book now, it's whatever times are available. I have a schedule up. And you just pick the time. So let's get started on your reading today. What is the central theme of Gemini's reading today? So there's a lack of community. A lack of community. And the spread that we're going to be doing today, it is like the Romney spread, but it's a little bit different. And I have two decks put together. Uh, so if I get the same card twice, it adds extra significance. Plus I read reversal, so each card has two meanings as it is, and then I have two of every card in this deck. It just gives me a, a better reading, I feel. So I want three cards for Gemini's state of mind, June 15th through the 31st. What is Gemini's state of mind, June 15th through the 31st? I need three cards, please. Three cards. Okay. All right. So the first we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So there is definite verbal abuse here. Um, it could be mental abuse as well. Uh, air, this is air energy. This is actually the card of Aquarius, but you're an air sign. So this is the card of Aquarius. This is an air sign. There's the winds of change. And the Knight of Swords in the reverse is very verbally abusive. Um, knights are all about conquest, as it is. In the reverse, he is mental confusion, chaos, being out of control, being tactless, sarcastic, um, looking for a fight. There's someone who's looking for a fight here. Then we have death reversed. So when death reverses, there's a refusal to accept change. This is Scorpio energy. It's very emotional energy. Um, there's a refusal to move on. There's stagnation. There's obsession. There's um, kind of a afraid of what tomorrow will bring type attitude. So mentally, you're not in a very good place so far. And then we have the Ten of Wands in the upright. And this is about being burdened. Tens are the completion of a cycle. This is Sagittarius energy. This is burdens, commitments, responsibilities. It feels like an uphill climb. Um, caring about other people's problems. This is telling you that you need to rest. All right. Swords are air energy, which are all about action, motion, ideas, the winds of change. Death is water energy. That's Scorpio. It's a very passionate, intense, emotional, mysterious energy. And it's very deep. Um, water is intuitive, emotional, ultra sensitive. They are just neutral with each other. They, they don't really conflict. But then we have fire. Fire boils water and water puts out fire and that they just they conflict. Uh, they conflict a lot. Um, Scorpio, which rules death, is ruled by the planet Mars, which is the planet of war. Um, so I do see a lot of fighting, a lot of controversy here, a lot of um, 
verbal abuse and a lot of feeling very burdened just over like you're taking on too much responsibility and that's where your state of mind is currently all right i need three cards for gemini's self-improvement spiritual development and health advice for gemini's self-improvement spiritual development and health. So I have the shadow side, which is um, just the judgment card in the major arcana. So it's a major life event. It's a major arcana card. Um, judgment is the final outcome. Um, judgment, unable to hide things, accounting for actions. Um, karma, this is karma courts. So you, there might be court cases going on right now, um, but the outcome will be in your favor. There's a crossroads and a relationship karma. So it's all about karma. Right, give me another card. And it's coming in really fast. Uh, fast. This is fire energy. Um, that is actually fire energy too. So we have the Ten of Wands, which is fire energy. Right next to that, we have Judgment, which is fire energy. And then we have the Eight of Wands, which is fire energy. So we have three fire cards side by side by side. A fire sun would be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Um, the Eight of Wands is all about things coming in fast. There's power here powerful energy being released at the speed of light, life taking off really fast. There could be phone calls, text messages coming in, emails. There's a whirlwind of social activity. Um, this could be falling in love or um, getting not having any free time because you're so busy with all of the, the communication coming in. And fire is all about ambition, aggression, energy, enthusiasm, strength, striving to achieve, spontaneous, getting things done, uh, dynamic, passion, um, getting over things really easily, being fearless. What else is going to help Gemini with their self-improvement, spiritual development, and health? All right, so I have strength reversed. This is Leo. So again, we have fire energy. Um, so there's four fire cards side by side by side. So that's really bringing extra. It started with your energy. It started with air energy, even though that was the card of Aquarius. So it was still air energy. So it started with that Gemini, airy, winds of change energy. And then it got emotional. And now it's all about boom, 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 boom. We're going to get energy. We're going to get enthusiasm. We're striving to achieve. We're impulsive. We're getting things done. And then we have strength reversed. So this is showing fear. There's a loss of control here. Being overwhelmed, uh, despair, hopelessness, lack of courage, secrets are revealed. Um, So there's karma, things come in fast, text messages, communication is coming in really fast. And uh, it leads to a loss of, of control, giving your power, externalizing your internal strength giving it to somebody else. We can't be doing that. All courage, all strength comes from within us. We cannot get it from our world without. With that, you're externalizing your internal strength. You're giving it to somebody else. You're letting someone else control you. And you cannot be doing that. All power is within you. What is Gemini's family and home life like? I need three cards for Gemini's family and home life. Three cards for Gemini's family and home life. Three cards for Gemini's family and home life, please. Three cards for Gemini's family and home life, please. Three cards. Okay. So I have the Empress reversed. Two more. 
to have a nice family and home life. Two more. To have a nice family and home life. Right, justice reversed. So there's two major life events right there side by side. I'm also a Gemini. I have a Gemini moon. Gemini's home life. One more card. Gemini's home life. Okay. And then we have the card of you, which is another major life event, the lovers reversed. So the first card that we have is the, and they're all in reverse, that all these major life events are in reverse. So with all these reversals, it's telling me that things just aren't going the way that you had planned. Your, your life seems to be upside down right now. Uh, the Empress Reverse, this I always see as a Virgo energy. It's a lack of growth, being unproductive. There's a lack of stability here. Um, there's manipulation, and there could possibly be some overeating. And again, this is a Virgo energy, so this is I analyze. Um, it's very worrisome energy. It's very critical and fault-finding. It could be like talking about a Virgo person, or it could just be talking about that energy of um, self-doubt, being standoffish, being worrisome. And because it's in the reverse, I'm talking about Virgo's negative characteristics, not their positive. So then we have Justice Reverse, which is Libra energy, which is I balance. And Justice Reverse is a divorce, lawsuits, inequality, things going against you. There's an imbalance, feeling victimized, blaming others, arguments, being falsely accused, being corrupt. And with that Libra energy, it's um, sitting on the offensive, not taking sides, uh, being impartial and decisive, being uh, judgmental, being a perfectionist, being self-absorbed. And then we have the lover's reverse, which is our energy, which is Gemini energy. And this is communication breaking down, wrong messages. There could be some infidelity going on here in your home life. Uh, using sex as a weapon, jealousy, possessiveness, being non-committal. There could possibly be a divorce, especially with Libra reverse right beside it. <clears throat> There could definitely be a divorce going on, separation, or just a separation or a breakup of some sorts, low self-esteem, lack of self-love, disagreements. It's just not the right time and you need to move forward. So there's major life events going on in Gemini's home right now. Major, like that's, that's major, three in a row. Alright, um, so what's going on in Gemini's romantic and social life? What's going on in Gemini's romantic and social life? Three cards for Gemini's romantic and social life, please. Three cards for Gemini's romantic and social life, please. Okay, um... So I have the Five of Cups in the upright, the star, which is another major life event in the upright. One more card. And then Temperance, so I have another major life event in the upright. <clears throat> so there's two more. This is a whole row of major life events, and it's all dealing with your family, home, romantic, and social life. Okay, so the first thing, it's very emotional. We have the Five of Cups, and it's in the upright. So this is, there's sadness here. There's loss. There's regret. There's being focused on the past. There's being regretful, cut off from life. 
Um, this is the card of Scorpio, so there's definitely some jealousy here, some obsessions, very passionate, intense, it's I desire. Uh, so it could have been with a Scorpio person because we have death up here as well. Um, or it could just be that energy of Scorpio, um, very dark energy, can be somewhat cruel, uh, very passionate though, very intense, very emotional, all or nothing type energy. And that's what's starting your romantic and social life. And then we have the star, which is a major life event. And this is Aquarius. This is, again, that air energy. This is I know. This is actions, ideas, the winds of change. This is your R energy. This is being emotionally detached. This is being aloof. This is a relief from struggle, a time to heal, liberation, freedom, nothing to hide anymore, freeing your, free to be yourself. A sense of peace taking center stage you don't have to prove yourself anymore this is me this is who I am um, there's a, a source of creative calm after the storm a release from the past and then we have temperance which is Sagittarius energy that's fire energy again that's that ambition aggression this is being outgoing optimistic this is I aim energy so this is I desire I know and I aim. So temperance is the calm after the storm. There's rebalancing. Um, there's travel. There's learning. There's teaching. There's wise counselors, healers, balance, perfect timing, light at the end of the tunnel, clarity, understanding, inner peace, um, a mature relationship here. So the Empress is Earth energy and justice is air energy earth and air do not get along they conflict so in your home life there's definitely a lot of conflict um, earth energy is very practical grounded and hates change air is all about change and there's nothing practical or grounded about air <laughs> it's just it, it's aloof it's a free spirit um, it does what it wants. It loves to move. And Earth likes to stay still. They're very steady and and, uh, and air is just all windy. And then we, we have the lovers, which is air energy next to justice. So it gets better, but it looks like there is definitely some conflict. And it looks like it's more towards the past there was some conflict. And then going towards the future, it gets back into just things are changing really fast, very rapidly. But there's still, it's, it's not a good energy in your family and home life right now. And then we have the lovers next to the five of cups. So that's just neutral energy. It's not really, um, it's not really bad. Um, it's just neutral. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's just, eh, whatever. Um, and then we have, yeah, and then we have more air energy, more of this wind of change. And then it ends in fire energy, and those get along really good. That's very compatible. So it does end with the rainbow. There is the light at the end of the tunnel. And there is a happy ending here in your family, home, and romantic life. You do get that happy ending. So it starts out very tumultuous. There's a lot of arguing, and then it gets better, if things change, and then there's just some loss, regret, but then you come out of it, and it ends very good. It ends very good, very well for you, so that's, that's really good. That's really good. All right, now we're going to talk about Gemini's money. Three cards for Gemini's money. The 15th through the 31st of June. What is Gemini's money going to be like the 15th through the 31st of June? Ooh. Okay. How many cards do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, the first card we have the Eight of Swords. So we're back in this air energy. 
Uh, the Eight of Swords is Gemini energy, so this is our energy. There's frustration here. There's a bad attitude, being paralyzed by fear in terms of money, um, not being able to see a way out, um, backed into a corner, feeling victimized, trapped, isolated, and ignoring other people's advice. There's the Knight of Wands. So Knights are all about conquest and uh, Wands are all about action, making things happen. The Knight of Wands are sudden arrivals. So money suddenly comes in. There's great new beginnings here, um, but there are unfinished projects. There's being risk takers with money, being impulsive spenders, um, being seeking constant action. Um, being an entrepreneur, starting your own business, being your own boss, embarking on a new career, or it could just be traveling for work. And that's going towards the future. And then we have the Nine of Cups. This is the wish card. So the Nine of Cups is all about wishes fulfilled kind of being smug because your wishes are being fulfilled, um, showing off, comfort, happiness. So it starts out with you're imprisoned, and it's a self-contained prison, and you're surrounded by painful lessons and money that was spent foolishly in the past. And then the Knight of Wands is very fast moving and he's heading straight into the future and he's carrying new growth with him. He's carrying entrepreneurial spirit. He's carrying finances. He's carrying that all into the future and then you get your wishes. Your wishes are fulfilled. There's abundance here in the future. So your money starts out really bad and then it gets really, really good. Beware of unfinished projects. Any projects you start, you have to finish in order to get this Wishes Fulfilled card. All right, and then we have the Hierophant Reverse. So this is Taurus energy. This is a major life event. And this is breaking rules, uh, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules. Um, new belief systems, unconventional ideas. Uh, it could be dropping out of school and being um, extremely judgmental and somewhat hypocritical of others. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is excellent for me. This is strong, solid, commitment, dedicated, ongoing hard work, being highly skilled, qualified, success, recognition, acclaim on top of your game, and you're exactly where you need to be with this card. So that's good. I just need one more card to finish up the money. One more card to finish up the money. One more card to finish up the money for Gemini. Alright, so we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. There's confusion and there's information overload, but everything's fair and balanced. Everything, and we're back in your energy, we're back in that air energy. So, in terms of career and money, uh, it starts off, you're in debt. You're in the self-enclosed prison, you don't want to see things. And I see justice is looking right at you but it's also looking at wishes fulfilled. And I see the lovers directly above wishes fulfilled. Um, so that you, you need self-love in order to get your wishes fulfilled. The Knight of Wands comes in, comes in fast, brings everything that you want, everything that you dream of. You're smug. Don't be smug. You get it, we know. I know. I get it too. <laughs> and then it happens with very unconventional ideas. You could drop out of school here, um, but you're doing something very unconventional. There's a lot of hard work, but it pays off, and you get lots and lots of money, lots and lots of money. Um, but then there's that information overload, and you feel a little bit overwhelmed. 
but still, I'll take that. Because <laughs> you know, I got that Gemini moon. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. So what's the outcome? What's the final outcome for Gemini? All right, so there's a transition, a rite of passage here. We have the Six of Swords, so we're back in your energy. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So there's emotions here, there's abandoning things, there's moving on to a new adventure. So there's a rite of passage, you're traveling on to a new adventure and you're leaving some things behind you. Anything else for the outcome? And then we have the Two of Swords again, so it's really bringing extra emphasis to this. There's difficult choices here, there's painful decisions that you're going to have to make, but whatever you make is going to be fair, just, and balanced. Any other, any other information for Gemini? Any other information for Gemini? Any other information? Okay, so I have the thinking man. So it's a time to contemplate things and think about them. Uh, I have all tied up, but you're coming out of that. So you're freeing yourself here. And then I have the angel of love. I see that you fall in love with yourself. There's self-love here. Uh, there's definitely happy endings. So this does end on a happy note. It starts out very tumultuous, but ends very happy. Well, Gemini, that was your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please consider subscribing. I do bi-monthly charities or twice a month. Sometimes I do them even more. Um, I'm also going to be doing meditation and affirmation videos. Um, please comment uh, if this resonated with you. I'd love to hear feedback. And um, also, don't forget, I do have that website. I do offer our personal readings. If you click on Shop Now, those are my pre-recorded readings, and I'll get those to you hopefully within 48 hours. But if it's longer, I will let you know. And then um, if you want to book me for a live Skype call, I have that available now too, which is something that I am recently offering. So again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, Geminis.